tonight, Seven Investigates is learning more about the drug the state planned to use in the execution of death row inmate Thomas Creech. That execution failed last Wednesday when medical team members could not get an IV line. We received public records from the Idaho Department of Correction showing the state bought pentobarbital for Creech's lethal injection. The National Center for Biotechnology Information says the drug is a barbiturate that affects the central nervous system. In smaller doses, it's a short-acting sedative. It's typically used by veterinarians as an anesthetic or to put an animal down. It's also been used in states where medically assisted death is legal and in this instance, capital punishment. Records show the state purchased 15 grams of pentobarbital, costing $50,000. But two thirds of that pentobarbital is now unusable after syringes were prepared for Creech's execution. So this means the failed execution cost Idaho taxpayers about $33,000. The remaining five grams will expire in February of next year. IDOC records show the state has four options for lethal injection. The method used depends on the availability of chemicals. Method four uses only pentobarbital. Methods one and two require saline flushes with those drugs between chemicals to make sure the IV line is working correctly. Methods three and four include a saline flush at the end of the injections. IDOC reports show each method requires backup plans. The state chose to use method four. Under this plan, the state had a primary set of syringes, which included five grams of the drug and saline flush. The backup B and C sets include the same amount of pentobarbital and saline flush in each set.